There's a revolution happening in healthcare. Medical breakthroughs are changing expectations. But innovation in clinical development has been slow. At AstraZeneca, we are breaking new ground. And we are pushing the boundaries of science. We have a bold ambition on how we want to do clinical development and clinical trials in the future. It's about bringing new innovation into every aspect of clinical development. We have one of the strongest pipelines for CVRM in the industry. But with this success comes challenges, from scaling up our clinical efforts to how we apply our precision medicine approach. Clinical trials of the future is not only about cost efficiencies and speed, but there is a substantial focus on quality. Our strategy focuses on three key aspects of clinical development. Selecting the right endpoints in phase two is critical to ensure we are making sound investment decisions about the molecules we progress into phase three. Selecting the right endpoint is not just about reducing mortality, it is also about making patients feel better. We've been collaborating with our digital health team to enable patients to measure two important aspects of their kidney function at home, including both kidney function, measured by EGFR, and kidney damage, measured by UACR. Collecting data through handheld digital solutions means that patients can measure key tests more frequently without requiring more in-person study visits during their participation in the clinical trial. We also continue to work closely with regulators to ensure that we're selecting endpoints that enable us to drive faster and linear development programs and brings new medicines to patients more quickly. Adjudication of cardiovascular endpoint events is a, a manual process where external experts have to verify that the patient actually did experience an event. We are now exploring ways to detect events as soon as they happen, for example, by using geofencing to signal when a patient had been physically located at a hospital for some time. As we advance our understanding of the biology and what drives disease in specific patients, we also need to find a way of finding these patients and supporting them throughout clinical development. The heart bus is an example of true innovation. Patients are able to get diagnosed in their home community and have all the diagnosed tests required for heart failure performed in one location at the same time. The heart bus sees a much larger ambition, the creation of super sites where multiple diseases could be screened, including for specific phenotypes. This pre-screening would shorten recruitment time, enable clinical research to progress quicker and further support our precision medicine approach. One of the biggest challenges when it comes to patient recruitment is how do we find the patients that have a disease which we know is underdiagnosed. The additional challenge is that for our precision medicine molecules, we need to select for a specific genotype. We have pilot programs underway where we work with clinics in areas where patients who are at high risk of the disease can be screened, which also serves as a free community service. Lastly, we want to push the boundaries to be less conservative in how we conduct clinical trials. The DAPA-MI trial is the first indication-seeking, registry-based randomized clinical trial that utilizes existing national clinical quality registries for data collection while aiming for regulatory approval. The purpose was to deliver data through a pragmatic, integrated routine care approach, allowing for fewer trial visits and a streamlined study delivery. This trial also leveraged smart technology from the unified smartphone app, our new clinical trial support companion tool for patients and healthcare providers. Digital devices are enabling us to make step changes in how we follow a number of longitudinal physiological measures and endpoints for heart failure. By doing this, we hope to be able to identify patient subgroups and to be able to detect worsenings of heart failure before it leads to heart failure hospitalizations. 
This would allow for smaller trials, larger effect sizes and overall accelerated programs. Clinical trials of the future is not a vision. It's what we must do to ensure we continue to be a world-leading clinical organization. What we do today will have a direct consequence for how we run pivotal trials for the next generation of medicines.